A lot of you niggas make me sick. Sick to my core, to my stomach. We all, or a lot of us, we grow up in the hood. You seen fights, shootings, stabbings, robberies. We seen it all. After a while, you see so much shit, you become desensitized to it. You become numb to it. But when you killing babies, one-year-olds, that's something I'm not gonna ever be used to. That's not something I'm gonna get numb to because it ain't right. It hurts my core that we got savages running amok in the community, destroying our community, killing innocent babies. So because you got beef with such and such, and you want to handle it, you want him off this earth, you decide to shoot up a barbecue with a bunch of innocent people there, just sitting down, eating chicken, listening to music, enjoying life. A baby is innocent. A baby did nothing to you. A baby did not put you on child support. So when you want to run down on somebody and shoot up the neighborhood, why? Why? Our kids live in this community. They grow up in the community. If they cannot go to a barbecue to enjoy family time, party time, what else can they do? But you see, I know the problem. And ladies, I need you to hear me. Listen to me. I need you to do me a favor, ladies. Do me a favor, because I know the problem. And here's what I want you to do. Go in your living room right now. Stop what you're doing. If you're in the kitchen, get out the kitchen. Go in your living room. Look over there on the couch. You see what I'm talking about. There's a lazy Negro on your couch right now. And guess what? He's sleeping in the middle of the day. He has nothing to do. He has no job. He has no home because he stays with you on your couch. I want you to wake him up and kick him the fuck out because it's that ignorant nigga is the reason why babies are dying. Do you know that when you take your child to work, excuse me, or when you take your child to daycare and you go to work, that this ignorant Negro is still on your couch after you leave, he's in your food cupboard, eating the last of your child's snacks, finishing off the Welch's fruit snacks, finishing off the kid's apple juice. You asked him to do one thing, take out the chicken, leave it out, let it defrost, take out the trash. He can't do that. Why? Because he's too much of a real nigga. He can't help you with the lunch and prepare a kid's meal for school the next day. He can't help you pay a bill in the house. But he can sit and eat your child's snacks. He can sit and drink all his juice. Do you know these ignorant Negroes are the same ones that won't get up for you, pregnant at all, when you're on the bus and on the train? They won't get up. They act like you don't exist. You know how many women I see struggling with two and three kids in a stroller, trying to fold it up, trying to get on the bus, trying to get their kids calm. Where are these Negroes? They're on the couch, eating fruit snacks, watching television, rolling up. So while you're struggling, working, taking care of the children, trying to pay the bills, trying to clean up the house, trying to make a better life for yourself. These Negroes are bringing us down. Coronavirus isn't new. These niggas been the virus and they infecting the whole community because they live in your house. They're in your living room. They're on your couch. 
They're in your fridge. These Negroes got to go. They are the problem. And until we fix that, we won't get nowhere. Get these Negroes up off your couch. Kick them out. They don't provide anything to the house or to your home. 